As Modular is designed for companies that make lots of payments, most customers will use the API to access the system. We also provide a customer portal, which we'll use in this demo to give you a feel for what's possible with Modular. Note that the portal is built on top of the Modular API, so everything you see in the portal can also be done through the API. The first step is to sign into the portal using your credentials, which will be sent to you in an email during the sign-up process. This will take you to the payment screen, where you can see your payment activities, such as pending or failed payments. To make a payment, go to Accounts. This screen shows a summary of the e-money accounts you have. In this scenario, there are three accounts which have been pre-funded and each account has its own account number and sort code. You can also add new accounts at any time by clicking Add New Account. For this demo, we're going to make a payment out of the payment account. To do this, you have to click through to the individual account. This screen details the transactions both inbound and outbound. To pay out to a person or company, you go to Payment or Transfer. There are three types of payments. Beneficiary, which is pre-entered account details. My account, which is internal transfers. And New, which allows you to enter a new beneficiary from scratch. For a new payment, we enter beneficiary name, sort code, account number, and the reference that appears on the payee statement. Finally, enter the amount and press Next. Once you are happy with the payment, hit Confirm. You will then be informed when this is complete and can select whether you'd like to check the status of the transaction in your account or would like to make another payment. If we select View Account, you can see the payment we have just made has now left our company account. For most of you, you want to pay a personal company directly through your own system. To access the API, you can use our developer portal. Select API Reference and you'll be able to see a list of all of Modular's API calls. To make a payment, select Payment and then Create a Payment. To test the account, you will need to authorise the access by selecting the person icon and entering your API key, which you will have received by email. To start a new payment, enter the amount and the account number. You won't need destination ID as that is for beneficiary and internal transfers. Enter the destination name and the sort code. Again, there are three types of payments, beneficiary, account, which is internal transfer, and scan, which is sort code and account number. We are going to make a scan payment. The external reference is used to match payments from and into accounts. The reference is what appears on the beneficiary statement. Finally, you have to enter the source account ID, which can be found in the URL on the portal. Once that is all filled out, select Try It. We get a successful response and the payment has gone through. To get a status update on your system, you can either call Retrieve Payments when you want to check a payment, or alternatively, your system can listen for status updates by setting up a webhook using the Setup Notifications for Customer Call and selecting Payout as a type of the notification. This method allows you to make payments in the same way we did in our portal, only through your own system, and you can see the payment on the account view. There is much more you can do in your account. For example, you can set up beneficiaries for regular payments, or you can create rules to split the payment between multiple beneficiaries and accounts. Why don't you sign up to your own sandbox testing environment and have a play around? You can't break anything. As you can see from our demo, integrating payments into your own system is easy with Modular. Once you're ready to transform how your business handles payments, get in touch to find out how we can open your first Modular payments account.